How did it go? Smooth and silk. I almost died, Emmanuel. It was a gang of masked thieves. Did they nobody see you? No. They stormed in and attacked me. The Rungus see me. They need to strike where the iron is on. That farm is far too dangerous. Oh, come on, man. How can you be so cold? I know what happened to your brother, the one who died. Where is he? You know who died us? It's all my fault. The secret has been in the family for years. And then you go and tell the biggest gossip in town. Let him, let him drown. Any sign of him? No. Go back to the house. I think I know why he didn't come home. Why? Titus may have found out the real truth. The real truth about what? Joshua. What? Well, I was talking to Mama Stella and... Mm -hmm. and uh, Mama Stella? Mama Stella? Papa, how could you? Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God and also in me. For in my father's house there are many rooms. I go to prepare a place for you. Bow your heads. Our Father in heaven, teach us to see with a kindly eye and make us devoted in our services to you and also to our families. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Today is Sunday, the day of the Lord. I would be in church if I wasn't unwell. So we hope you had a good night, Mother. Oh, this bed, the mattress. They aren't like mine at the farm. Here, Grandma, here's a nice cup of tea. Thank you, Gracie. Gracie is in charge while Eva is away. Well, in my days, families came first before anything else. Anyway, where is Eva? She's at an AIDS conference. And what about Martin? Um, Gracie, why don't you go downstairs and clear the breakfast things? Um, some, some more tea, mother? You are clucking about like a mother hen, Emmanuel. We are relieved that you're in one piece. One piece? I'm far from being well. I'm bruised and beaten up. It will be many weeks before I'm fit again. I should go and check how business went last night at the bar. It's been very hard going this last night. Money, months. money, money, money. Not now, Emmanuel. Oh, my head. It's starting to hurt all over again. Right now. No problem. I am sure we shall have a good working relationship. I hope you mean that. Well, the supplier stopped. 
If you hadn't agreed to take over, I don't know what would have done. You don't have to worry about that anymore. I'll make sure that you have enough supplies fresh from the farm. You have a farm? Yes, that's where I grow all this. Just a few kilometers away from here. So, when should I bring the next supplies? How about in two days? Well, that's fine with me. See you then. All right. down, Gracie. I need to call for a taxi. But you're not well, Grandma. Where are you going? Oh, I'm not going anywhere. I just need to make a call. Can I make the call for you? No, no, but I need your help later. Do you want? Don't worry. You'll soon find out. Go and do whatever it is you do now, Gracie. some medicine from the shops and went home. Morning, Hello? Charles, let me your mother. Mom, for you. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm on my way. Salome, was Titus sick yesterday? Titus? Is Titus there? Yes, I was just wondering if he went to know her last night. Oh no, Mr. Melly. He was home. In fact, he had an upset stomach. I see. He said it was malaria. Yes, yes, malaria of the stomach. Thanks. Get to the house as soon as you can. Everything is malaria these days. Can I please have what? some money? And I say no. But, but, Mom. If I come with you to work, I want to see Gracie. If you're coming with me, young lady, it will be to work, not for a social visit. You, outside now. Shall I order some drinks? No drink, I need you now. Oh, okay, lover boy, lead on. Well, it's true. I've just come from the clinic. You don't know what pain I've been through with this thing you gave me. What thing are you talking about? You need to see a doctor. No, I don't. Have you heard of AIDS? AIDS? Are we going to die? We both are very lucky. It was not AIDS. It was something. A less serious thing. But it is still your fault. Hey, <laughs> God, Kidogo. What makes you think that you didn't give me that thing? I am clean. Besides, I'm married, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> didn't I insist that you use a condom? No, you didn't tell me to use a condom. You always do. Well, you got carried away and forgot this time. The only person getting carried away that night was you. Dream, my little boy. Necklace. Fadhali niliamua kumuacha, inafluhi ya kuwa na wewe sasa. Hata kama wewe na rafiki wako wa sasa ni wa aminifu, hii haiwezi kuzuhi ya kupata ukimu. Ukimu huambukizo kutoka marafiki wa zamani, hadi wa sasa, 
na unapozidi kuwa mwaminifu ndipo kuna uwezekano mkubwa wa kuambukizwa. Mbona unaonekana kuwa na wasiwasi moyoni? Yule hayuko tena kwenye fikira zangu. receive money from abroad you want it to arrive safely when you receive money from abroad you want it to arrive fast that's why more people trust Western Union to send their money than any other company Western Union it's like receiving money from their own hands kept saying, everything will be fine. Teachers is okay. But it's not true. She's very worried. I don't know. Something's going on. Anyway, I got upset that nobody was telling me the whole story. So I decided to come over with mom. I know what you mean. My brother's being strange too. All this stuff about not believing in God is driving my mom crazy. I think he has a girlfriend. Oh. So, what sort of boys do you like? Boys? Mom would kill me if I had a boyfriend now. I know how we could meet, guys. How? Oh, there's a disco coming soon with DJ Max. He's great. We should go together, you and me. I can't, my mom. So don't ask your mom, silly. Ask your dad. Dads always say yes. Charity. Get on with it here. Then move on to the other rooms upstairs. Grace Melly's cuttings delivered that she ordered. to the quarry. <sighs> I will come with you. No, the blue ones will look better. They used to be in my dining room. But Grandmother Mary, we've changed these curtains two times already. What do you think, dear? My blue leaf curtain or the orange pattern ones? But what happens if mom doesn't like them? I like the blue ones. Put them up. I planned it for a long time. Yes, I know. I'm just was so excited about getting to the other side. The raft was strong. At least I made sure. It was a good day. We got the raft to the water and got on. Then I remembered that I didn't have a stick to push us in. So I told Joshua not to do anything. I was so sure that he was safe. But when I got back, the raft was out in the middle. 
there was no sign of Joshua. I waited the whole day. The whole day. It never appeared. And the raft finally drifted in close enough. I pulled it out and I hid it. We lost a child. A little boy. And now we are losing you. Why didn't you just tell your mother? I was afraid. It was easier telling grandma. She told you, didn't she? Yeah. And you told mama. Yeah. How long has she known this? A long time. A long time, Titus. you do? What's your problem? You wanted me to do a job and I did it. But not the way you were told. I told you to frighten the old woman, not beat her. And that's what I did. I didn't touch her. Preacher, she's covered in bruises. Because she fell down. I tell you, I didn't touch her. You liar. She said she was attacked. I want my money. I don't care what she said. I'm sorry. You're not going to get another cent from me. What? Where have you been? You're late. Sorry, I lost track of time. First you take an early break. Then you come back late. And look at the set of you. Who do you think you're working for? Am I going to get an answer? I have nothing to say except that I'm sorry, Mr. Meili. I have nothing to say. Well, you'll get a bit of nothing. You can forget about the advance. But, Mr. But Arthur... nothing! Friends, so much better. And it's time for some lunch. Isn't it Salome? Ah, it's hard work, Gracie. Salome? Salome? A uh, grandma was attacked by thieves the other night at the farm. She moved into the spare room upstairs. And you are just in time for some lunch, Daktari. What are you doing here this time? What? Can someone come to visit? People only visit me when they have problems. Let me guess what yours is. It must have something to do with your dead brother, right? So you've heard. Who hasn't? It's the topic of the week. Hell, probably the month. Should I go then? Why? Because of that story. So what? That's just family stuff. See, it's survival of the fittest. You've got to look after yourself. You can stay here as long as you like. Come in. Come in.
gentleness, perfect care from the Veya Cream. When you receive money from abroad, do you want it to arrive safely? When you receive money from abroad, do you want it to arrive fast? That's why more people trust Western Union to send their money than any other company. Western Union. It's like receiving money from their own hands. Necklace. Fadhali niliamua kumuacha, inafluia kuwa na wewe sasa. Hata kama wewe na rafiki wako wa sasa ni wa aminifu, hii haiwezi kuzuia kupata ukimu. Ukimu huambukizwa kutoka marafiki wa zamani, hadi wa sasa. Na unapo zidi kuwa maminifu, ndipo kuna wezekano mkubwa wa kuambukizwa. Mbuna unonekana kuwa na wasiwasi mwayoni, yule hayuko tena kwenye fikira zangu. Welcome to my digs. Thanks, man. I didn't go home last night. Slept in the bar. Sorry. I wish I had gotten all that money I worked for. That man refused to pay me. Well, he'll pay. What are you talking about? And you? Where's the money you told me that you're going to get? You get that? You don't worry. Mm. When we get that engine, our troubles will be over. We'll be rich. Tankless. You will never depend on anybody again. Now I know I have something in there, Matatu, that can help us celebrate. Come on. Speak to me, please, Eva. You've gone about with a frosty face since you got back. That won't help anything. Listen, I'm willing to accept that your mother needs some time to recover. But that's it. Do you we understand? Need, we need to make the farm secure before she returns. Benja is going to take care of it. You and Benja do whatever you decide. Just sort it out by the end of the week. Don't be unreasonable, One Yuba. week. One week. One week. One week to do what? If it is about me, you needn't worry. I'll be out of here by the end of the week. Anyway, this house is very cold. Not like my farm. What do you think, Gracie? My curtains have livened up the place, haven't they? Look, 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 
This is Josphat, my new supplier. Josphat, this is Justina, my landlady and good friend. We all call her Mama Stella. She's the one who told me to call Mr. Kenny about you. Justina? <laughs> That's a lovely name. Glad to meet you, Justina. As I was saying, mm -hmm. Titus is staying with that preacher man, and he's a bad influence on him. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have an idle husband and an uncontrollable child like poor Salome. Sorry, but I couldn't help eavesdropping. Did I hear you say you have no husband or children? Yes. Well, my only child is grown up and out of the country. Why do you ask? Oh, nothing really. It's just that I thought a uh, charming and lovely woman like you would be married with lots of children. Why would you think that? Because, quite frankly, I think you are about the most stunning woman I've ever seen. I know nothing about it, Mr. Mele. Are you sure? Of course I am. Well, one of you knows something. In all fairness, Mr. Mele, it's not the first time you've left the safe unlocked. You've simply been lucky no man has been lost before. Very well then, Titus. I want you to make a list of all the customers who have come into the bar in the last 24 hours. You have 24 hours to find the culprit and the money. Or else, or else you'll know when it comes. And you really should do something about the way you look. <laughs> so, is my name on that list? Richard, what do you want? I'm busy. The mechanic told me that the cylinder head is cracked, so we need more money. I think you've borrowed enough from him already, haven't you? Thank you. 